you are listening to the voice of the gospel a proclamation of the holy gospel by wisdom ministries november 14th saturday let's begin this day with the blessings of god a reading from the holy gospel according to saint luke chapter 18 verses 1 to 8 Jesus told them a parable about their need to pray always and not to lose heart. He said, in a certain city there was a judge who neither feared God nor had respect for people. In that city there was a widow who kept coming to him and saying, grant me justice against my opponent. For a while he refused. But later he said to himself, though I have no fear of God and no respect for anyone yet because this widow keeps bothering me I will grant her justice so that she may not be wear me out by continually coming and the lord said listen to what the unjust judge says and will not god grant justice to his chosen ones who cry to him day and night will he delay long in helping them I tell you he will quickly grant justice to them and yet when the son of man comes will he find faith on earth the gospel of the lord praise you lord jesus christ my dear friends one of the attributes attributed to luke is that uh, his the gospel of prayer we see jesus praying in this gospel more than in the other and he gives more teaching about prayer the parable features a totally corrupt judge who fears neither god nor man it also features a widow probably the most powerless the most pitiful and least pitied of people in the society of those days she has lost her husband re marriage is out of the question she has lost the support of her own family and her husband's family and there is nothing comparable to social welfare for her to lean on as far as a corrupt judge is concerned she can be ignored she has neither power nor money but this widow is different she is persistent and will not give up eventually the judge for his sheer peace of mind settles in her favor if jesus concludes a corrupt and ruthless just can be moved by a helpless widow what kind of response can we expect when we his people call out in our helplessness to our loving and compassionate god i tell you he will give them swift justice that is he will give them what is rightfully due to them but says jesus in a challenge which should make us sit up and take notice when the son of man comes will he find any faith on earth times of persecution are on the way they have already begun as this gospel is written and some will give up under pressure they will not persevere in keeping close contact with the god in prayer finding him and his peace in the midst of their sufferings it is easy to pray when things are going well it is often in times of pressure that we too give up praying when we need it most when our faith is really being put to the test we have to pray constantly and consistently we should not be afraid to ask for what we believe we really need but then if god is such a caring person why should we have to pray to him at all we need to keep praying not for his sake but for our own by doing so we maintain an awareness that by ourselves we can do nothing secondly the more we pray the closer we be, we come to god and as we pray that we ask for will gradually change ultimately what we want is what we need and what we need is bring is to bring our thinking our dreams our ambitions totally into line with god's way of seeing things 
how often do I pray? How consistently do I ask? What do I ask for? What do I really want? Do I distinguish between what I want and what I really need? And do I really have that faith and trust in the loving providence of God? Amen. May God bless us.